So, what's up everybody? It's your favorite bass music and chip tune nobody, Bit Butcher. Um, I apologize for how this probably looks because I don't have a, a web camera or some kind of camera setup or some shit because I don't really do a lot of YouTube videos or whatnot. But uh, I wanted to basically make a, a quick video and demonstrate the steps I went through myself to install free DOS on this HP tower I've got laying around. It's got some kind of it's a dual core Pentium 2.20 gigahertz. Uh, it's got a SATA drive and SATA multi drive in it. Anyways, um, this is a uh, this was a pain in the ass to get going. It took a lot of digging around on the web and just experimenting. And really, the the few minutes it's going to take to actually explain and demonstrate this. You know, I'm doing, and I went through all this because, I mean, I was born in the early 80s. I grew up with Apple. I mean, I was obsessed with that computer, with Macs when I was little. Was uh, Still to this day, I use all Apple stuff. But, you know, being born in that time, I mean, I had plenty of uh, PC tinkering going on, too. I loved DOS. I loved MS-DOS and uh, DOS games. Had a hell, hell of a lot of memories with that. So I only recently found out that free DOS was even a thing, that that existed. And I was like, holy shit, I mean, that's a mind-blowing thing that DOS would still be around after all these years and could still be useful for anything. That, that was so cool. Um, I would imagine most people are using free DOS for nostalgia, but the fact that it's updated. But um, I don't know, apparently I'm not the only one that's had problems with the installer. I mean, maybe that there's something about that process that kind of sucks. I don't know what the deal is. but. Uh, you know, I would go to throw it in and it would flash invalid opcode on my screen just forever. Couldn't even get to the installer. I thought something was wrong with my disk, so I reburnt it. Like, it was a pain. So, uh, with my phone here, I'm going to do the best I can and try to demonstrate what all I had to do so you can see it for yourself. I wiped the partitions on this thing, so I mean, I'm starting from complete scratch. So, without further ado... This right here is our bad boy. This HP nightmare just came with Windows Vista. Oh boy. So, and I got a 32 inch cheap HD TV that makes a hell of a fantastic computer monitor. So I'll try to one hand everything as best I can. Now, something I had picked up in a web forum that I think you, uh, any of you out there trying this should know about is in your BIOS settings it is absolutely critical that you go in and change your hard drive set up to uh, however whatever options yours might have to IDE instead of uh, ACHI or RAID it has to be IDE for free DOS's installer to pick up a little you know web search told me about that so um, so when you get into the initial boot here, if you hit enter, I will show you. This is what everybody was getting going on. Boom. I don't know how it looks on video, but this is just flying at a million miles an hour and it just it won't stop. So that off the gate is a problem. Control Alt Delete. So from this screen here, hit tab, switch over to the mem disk, good old ISO Linux. Boy, just seeing that takes me back to my days of tinkering with Slackware. You have to put in raw right there. I honestly don't even know what that means in this case. but So do you want to proceed? Absolutely. We need to make a partition. Having a completely blank, unwritten disk, I believe that its default is probably going with the two gigs that was the maximum uh, capable of the good old days of MS-DOS. 
So there's that. The drive C we created is not formatted. No shit. So there it goes. English, yes. Full install. Yes. And there we go. I only played with this briefly before wiping my drive and uh, making this video because I was excited. Like, I'm looking forward to tinkering with this. I have a disc I burnt full of DOS Abandonware, a uh, copy of Windows for Workgroups, and just a, I mean, really a DVD ROM worth of stuff. One thing I want to try while I've got my camera rolling is I'm going to see if the almighty Windows 3.1 will install on this modern system, because who the hell didn't love Program Manager back in the day? <laughs> The PC that we had in our house was a Packard Bell, and it came with the Packard Bell Navigator. Oh, that's exciting. So, there we go. Yeah, go ahead. Reboot your heart out. Go down here and make the disc out, if I can. How are you doing? So I guess GenX is a modernized version of the memory support that was part of EMM386 way back when. So this is what the initial boot looks like. E is apparently my CD drive, so there we go. And how I laid this out. Like I said, guys, I haven't got to play with this much yet. I was just excited that it installed and booted on its own. Oh, looky here. Alright guys, so I will spare you the rest of my tinkering around if you even watched it this far, but hey, good luck on installing free DOS. Props to the, the community and the people that made that happen because this is really, really awesome. So, good luck. See ya.